I said in the beginning of this course, or at least I think I did, that I feel a tremendous debt of gratitude to the Orthodox Church and to Orthodox Christians. I believe that the Orthodox Church has preserved the fullness of Christian worship and practice. And I say that primarily, but not exclusively, because of how Orthodox Christianity treats Easter, or in their terminology, Pascha, which is Greek for Passover. I participated in the 2015 Pascha service at St. Simeon's Orthodox Church in Birmingham, Alabama. And that was my introduction to a proper celebration of Christ's resurrection. It's truly the pinnacle of their year. Everything leads up to it and everything flows from it. I grew up in an amazing Christian household. My parents made sure that I understood that Easter was about Christ's resurrection and not about Easter bunnies. And yet Easter was just another Christian holiday for me. I never went through the 40 days of Lent growing up and I never celebrated the full 50 days of Eastertide. So, Easter just kind of snuck up on me and it was gone before I knew it. It wasn't an intentional neglect of Christ. We just didn't have the mechanism or practice of a Christian calendar in the Southern Baptist and then non-denominational church that I grew up in. I've learned from theologian and author James K.A. Smith that love, love towards God and towards others, is more of a habit than it is a choice. Or rather, love is a bunch of small choices that cement your desires. Our desires and loves are constantly growing or shrinking depending on where we're pouring that fuel. Our loves are not static and innate as we've come to believe in the West. So that's what the Christian calendar does. 40 days of repentance leading up to Christ's crucifixion and then 50 days of celebrating his resurrection is an annual reset that reshapes what meta or grand story I'm living in. We celebrate what we think is important and what we celebrate as important shapes what we think is important. And because we Protestants threw out much of the Christian calendar during the Protestant Reformation, we've since adopted the holy days or secular holidays that our countries have given us. Think about it for a second. When do you personally take vacation? Which holidays do you take off of work for? Most of us will take at least a day off, maybe the entire week surrounding July 4th. We shoot fireworks and dress up in red, white, and blue. It's a very religious act. Is it a surprise then that the core identity of most American Christians is that we're free and independent creatures? That we can do whatever we want with our own lives, our own bodies, our own stuff? The common refrain we hear is, who are you to tell me what to do? Orthodox Christians, on the other hand, after spending 40 days of fasting leading up to Pascha, many of them will take an entire week off of work. During that week of Pascha, there are services every day, and sometimes several services a day. Then on Saturday night, they'll go to church at 11.30 p.m. and worship until 3 a.m. because they want to be the first to celebrate the resurrection of Christ. After that, they'll feast until sunrise. And this is everybody. This is parents, grandparents, and little kids. That is the Christian faith. Easter, the death and resurrection of Christ, is the center, the root of the Christian faith. Not only did I learn to prioritize this holy day and holy week from the Orthodox, but I also learned more about what happened that holy weekend in April 33 AD.